Okay, hey everybody. Today we are gonna draw an original character. Uh, this is, oh by the way, hi. Say hi. Hello. Um, this is Elena's kitty Kikio. And we're kind of gonna draw her in like a punk girl style, right? Cause yeah. she's got a lot of attitude. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we're just gonna start drawing. We might talk about, uh, you know, her personality and interesting things about her. Uh, she's definitely a cat with a lot of attitude. Huh, huh, Elena? Yeah. So we're gonna try and capture that in her pose. We'll see. But I think we can do a good job. But this is her, Kikio, as a human. So, uh, right there you can see I am starting with the head, like I always do. And then I um, kind of just build the body from there. So you can see, I always do this kind of shape for my body. Shoulder joint there. Uh, for this character and this pose, I'm gonna have kind of like a shift in the hips and then legs coming down right here. So hips right there. I always, I always do that, I always make the f body way too low on the page. I don't know why I don't start drawing up there, I'm so weird. I do it like every time, it's just a terrible habit. So now she's gonna have short legs, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what kind of outfit should she have? I'm gonna, I'm doing her punk rock style. How are you doing her? Uh, just how I imagine her to be. <laughs> She's kind of a little brat, so. She is. <laughs> so I'm gonna give her like real flat eyebrows. Sketch the eyes in there real quick. Ooh, what kind of hair would she have though? Um, I always draw Kikia with like a pixie cut. Like a pixie <laughs> cut? Mm-hmm. What does a pixie cut look like? It's like really short. Like really short. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm gonna give her a swoopy pixie on one side and then like um, a shaved head on the other. It'll be weird. And I'm gonna give her pointy ears. So she's kind of like a cat human. In fact, I'm gonna have one side of her hair cover up her, her eyes. She's a cat, so she needs lots of eyeliner. Yeah, dang it. in that neck a little bit. I'm trying to give her like a little wily smile, you know? Like she's scheming. Because Kikio is definitely a schemer. Um, what kind of shirt should she have? I'm just giving her a sweatshirt. Oh, a sweater? Well, that's mm -hmm. a good idea. And have her hands kind of like touching each other like this, kind of like in the middle. That's a good pose. I like this pose so far. High hips up on this side. And then lower down like this. So she's kind of got that little pause up kind of pose, maybe. How's that? Is that kind of cute? Mm -hmm. Pause up.
Okay. What do you think of that pose? You like that? Mm-hmm. Does it kind of look like her? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, I want to give her like her outfit like a lot of attitude. What should I do? Mm -hmm. What would give her a lot of attitude? What's a cool like um dang. So Kikio is gray. And why well, not? I'll give her like a cool like jacket. But like a, a short one like this. And then I'll give her kind of like a, a tank top underneath it. Like that. Mm -hmm. The jacket can have like really big bomber sleeves or something. And then I'm gonna give her kind of like a mini skirt because I want her to have that high sock. So Kikio has one leg that is like, um, it's orange and stripy. It makes her really unique. And so, and a, white chin. and a white chin, but I can't give her a white chin without her, that looking like a goatee. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm not skilled enough at art to give her a white chin and not make it look like a goatee. So I think I got that. I think I nailed that hands right there. That was kind of a interesting experiment. So her hands, her fingers are kind of interlocking. I think that kind of worked out, hopefully. Um, big belt, I'm gonna give her a big belt. Put a mini skirt on. Knees. I'm gonna give her thigh high on this side to represent her little leg. I'm gonna give her cool tennis shoes too. What are you doing on yours? Oh, you gave her cool tennis shoes too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, those big Nikes. Those are awesome. So this leg doesn't have the big sock. Oh, you know what I just thought of would have been really good? <laughs> and just to have her as a human girl, but like f trying to get a moth or something. You know oh, what I mean? Like, cute. oh, maybe I'll do that. I can still do that. I'll have her like looking up like this. And there's like a little butterfly right here. Kikyo catches flies. She catches, yeah. Once I was on the couch watching TV and it, I hear a thump, so I look over and Kikyo's jumping up and down trying to catch a fly. And I'll get rid of this other eye I put in there. Um, yeah, she was just out in the yard today trying to catch flies. And she was trying to catch a um, bee and, a white, and I had to go get her because I was too worried that she would get stung and freak out. So with big pins, when I'm drawing like this, I can't really erase, but I can not worry about the pink lines because I actually like the way they look. And um, the deal with them is that if I make a line I don't like, I just leave it there. And then when I go in with the black line stuff, the darker uh, pen, 
I'll just sure up the, the angles and everything. So it doesn't really make this kind of short. Show our little belly button. What do you think? She's pretty cute, huh? Yeah. Like it? Okay. Gotta, let me see yours. Oh, you made her more like a cat than I did. Okay, yeah, let's, um, I'm gonna add shadows now. Mm. Are you gonna add colors and stuff? I don't know. You can use my markers, I don't mind. You can only use my markers when we do drawing videos, though. I know. I'm so selfish with my markers, <laughs> aren't I? So you can see right now I am blotting in my shadows real quick. I do this this type of sketch drawing. I feel like I have a nice little style that I like for doing little concept illustrations like this. Um, models the character really well, but it doesn't take long to do. So you can do a lot of different like character styles. Um, and clothing and things like that because you know you got to get it done quick but it still has to get across you know the personality of the character <clears throat> and I feel like it accomplishes that pretty well don't you yeah give her a little shadow because this knee is kind of bending right there so shadows sometimes the drawing doesn't look right until you add the shadows in. Love this. This is, I mentioned, I need to mention it in every video because uh, this is Pale Lavender 145 Master's Touch Markers. Um, looks great on these, the tone tan paper. And that purple color really nails down shadows, which is great. Um, looks real good. You want to use cool colors on your shadows, so. Um, let's do this a little shadow on the inside there and then she's got hair going behind her that's going to be in shadow so just like that you're already starting in on your ink and stuff mm -hmm. so I'm gonna switch over to yeah actually I'm gonna do the skin skin first I like doing skin tones on this and <laughs> look how dull that is I'm pathetic um, need a sharpener? But I don't really care that much. I do need a sharpener. Thank you, assistant. Assistant Elena. Boom. There we go. But I like just adding in some skin tone. It just makes the drawing pop a little bit more. And I don't fill in where the, um, because I'm using, uh, color pencil for the skin. And I don't go over my shadows with this, but on markers, I do. So I'll go right over the top of the shadows on the markers, but um, with colored pencil, I don't, because it covers it too well. I'll go right up against it though. I just like the roughness of it, the contrast that it gives to the markers, kind of pretty looking. I do have to use some orange though, huh? Mm-hmm because of her cool sock. So, do I have orange? You actually never really use orange, except for your really bright one over there. Oh, I have one. There we go. That one's gonna work perfect. So, we'll just fill in her stripe and sock, because her leg is striped. She also has um, a little bit. Boom, look at that. She also has a little bit on, um, her booty and under her arm. Her booty? Uh, under her arm? Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna stick with kind of what I got as far as. Make this eye real dark. Cause... And I think I need to make her hair gray, huh? Yeah. 
Yep. Uh, I'm gonna fix this eye real quick, just so we get an idea of her looking over. I'm gonna add a couple little highlights there. Uh, finish off the hands a little bit. Hmm. I think we should get mommy to do one of these sometime too. Yeah. It'd be fun, huh? Mm-hmm. Cats always have little choker necklaces, I think. We'll have mommy come over and look at our drawings in a sec and she can... Kara, I mean, call her mommy. Everybody's like, who? Okay, a little crop top. Finish off her skirt. Um, so this is the second video that we've done like this. And this is really great practice for both me and Elena. She, these videos aren't meant to take a whole lot of time. They're supposed to be great practice and a lot of fun. Uh, which, are you having fun doing these? Yeah. Yep, and it gets us both practicing every day, working on fun ideas, and we're just gonna sit down and draw um, whatever pops into our heads. Isn't that right? Yep. Give her a little earring too. She's a girl. Uh, I have gray. So, let's see how this looks. I'm gonna throw some gray on there. Uh-oh. Oh, well. It's dark gray. Kikio's um, a lot uh, lighter than that, but we'll be okay. It's kind of green. Yeah, it's like, I think it's, um, we'll match her hair to the belt so that it's, there's some connection there. Oh, I wish that was, I wish that was lighter. Dang it, Travis. Oh well. Um, see here, uh, I can do some lighter grays. I know I have a lighter gray in here somewhere. Oh, I know what I'm gonna add. Actually, I'm gonna use this blue for her. Oh, it's like a green. I don't wanna use that. It comes out as green on there. Um, I thought I had a lighter gray. Oh, here it is, I found it. Boom, there we go. I just want some kind of color shift for that. And I'll make her skirt the same color too. So it's just not the same color as the paper. And then for jackets, we will make hot pink. Just cause she's a punk rock girl. I'm just filling this in real loosely. As you can see right here though, the shadows show right through the color, which is awesome. And then a little bit of pink on her shoes and on the toe like that to kind of connect to the jacket. And we'll use that same dark color. Hey, Mom. Hi. What do you think, Kara? That's okay. awesome. Kara's over here looking at her drawings. So it's Kiki as a human? Yep. I like her mischievous look. I know, look what she's looking at. Ooh, butterfly. A little butterfly. That's awesome, Elena. I like her hair. That definitely looks like a haircut that Kiki would have. 
need this. Okay, and then now I'm gonna add some highlights. Oh, you can use anything you want. It's our drawing video, so. I'm gonna add some, I used too dark a gray. Oh, look at her sock, I just noticed it. Her orange sock. Oh, yeah. It's a good idea. Didn't show up at all. That doesn't, oh yeah, it's too bright for that paper. Do you want me to get you your markers then? Mm-hmm. She can use mine. A little bit of detail work on the shoes just to oh yeah and one thing I forgot to do on the last one bug I forgot to add a little shadow so I'm gonna do that with that purple yeah. I'm not seeing my purple Did you put it in here oh, I have one right Is here it? Yes, it is. Thank you for pointing out something that was literally right in front of my face. <laughs> I almost forgot her eyebrows. These are a little base. This arm is bugging me over here because I haven't finished the detail work on it. Uh, I don't know what Kikia would wear. Give her a little badge on her shoulder. Wait, baby. Yoink. Okay, so that is a weird color scheme. The pink and the orange. I probably should have done like a blue jacket or something like that, but. Can you go back now? Nope, I can't. Should I make her lips red? What kind of color, what lips should Kikio have? I could give her, um, I, should, I could experiment and see what white lips look like. I don't know though, that would totally make, I think the lips would stand out too much. What color should I do? I think light pink is fine. Uh, I'm gonna make her eye eyes a little bit more cat like. And I'm gonna give her a couple little whisker marks. Kinda like we did with Naruto. There. How's that? Cute. Like it? Yeah. Uh, that is my drawing. It is done. So Kikio is done. At least this version of her. Um, anyway, uh, yeah. I'll talk a little bit about this drawing and kind of what you guys can expect from my channel as Elena finishes hers. Uh, so... I've been doing uh, sketchbook videos every weekend, or I was, and then I took a little break because I had a huge project come up, uh, which was kind of a bucket list project. I'll tell you, it was a comic book cover, and I've never done one, and I was asked to do one, so that was took up a ton of my time, and I'll be doing a sketchbook video soon of all, and I had focused, I switched gears and focused completely on doing sketches of the content that the comic book would like be about uh just to get an idea of the characters and things like that and just kind of get myself warmed up for doing that particular character um so i am finished with that project but i wanted to also do some videos with my daughter so that we can practice art together and i'll probably include my other daughter emery as well uh, so we'll be switching things up, but 
I want to keep doing these short, real-time drawing videos so you guys can kind of draw with me. If you have ideas, and I'm just going to sit down with Elena. It takes us about 20 minutes to 30 minutes to do one of these. Um, we're going to come up with an idea. Like today, we're like, hey, let's just draw Kikio as a human. Uh, but if you guys have suggestions for original characters even, we might sit down and draw one of your guys' characters. One of Elena's favorite channels, drawing channels, she watches YouTube drawing videos all the time, is uh, people who do followers' original characters. So maybe do some of that. Maybe do some popular characters. I don't know. But anyway, um, this is what you guys can expect. Uh, because of this, I will be uploading quite a bit more. So I hope you guys like this content. I hope it's something you enjoy. We're going to do it. Regardless, because we both need to get better at drawing, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but dang, that's good. I like yours. I like yours a lot, Bug. That's great. I love the pose. I love her foot out like that. That's an awesome drawing. Thank you. Also, Elena has her own Instagram art channel now, or Instagram page. What's it called? Uh... Hey, Kara, what's Elena's Instagram handle? Artist underscore Elena. So that's hers. You can check out all of her drawings. Elena has gotten so much better at drawing just over the last couple of years. It's crazy. And I know um, we need to continue that forward momentum, huh? Because you just love drawing. So, yep. um, And I also think it's great to see like where I'm at and the way I draw in contrast with the way she draws. Uh, one thing I told her that you know you need to work on is seeing things as simple objects, it allows you to draw more freely and draw a lot more things. Yeah. Uh, when you start to see simple shapes, um, helps with poses, all kinds of stuff like that. So you can just draw from your mind and you think of a character, you think of what kind of attitude they have. And, um, and it's basically the same thing you're doing. It's just you get a larger catalog of those poses. So anyway, uh, that's the video guys. Hope you liked it. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.